Okay, so today we are learning about geometry and we'll be going over a few basic shapes. So first we'll try to identify number one. So one way to identify it is by counting all the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. This shape has six sides. So it's called a hexagon. because hex means six. So now we're gonna try to count the next shape and see how many sides it has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It has 10 sides. That means it's called a decagon. Deca means 10. Now we'll count the next shape. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Since it has seven sides, that means it's called a heptagon. A heptagon has seven sides and hepta means seven. Now we're gonna do a square. So out of all these shapes, only number five is a square. The reason why is because it has two tick marks on each side, and that means that all sides are equal. It also has miniature little squares in each corner, and that means it's a 90 degree angle. All squares have 90 degree angles only, and all sides are equal. So that's how we know this is a square. The next shape is called a rectangle. A rectangle has two equal sides. And what I mean by that is that the sides that are parallel are equal. So this side and this side are equal and they both only have one tick mark, meaning that they're equal length. This side and this side are equal and they have two tick marks, meaning that these two sides are equal. However, the blue line is not equal to the orange line. Only the two blue lines are equal and the two orange lines are equal. However, just like a square, a rectangle has miniature little boxes in each corner. That means that it's a 90 degree angle. And so it's called a rectangle. The next shape is called a kite. A kite is very similar, except that it doesn't have 90 degree angles at each corner. Instead, a kite has two tick marks, and these two tick marks mean that these two sides are equal. However, the other two sides are not equal to the orange lines. This is because they both only have one tick mark, meaning that they're only gonna be equal to each other. That's why it's called a kite. The next thing we're gonna learn about is translation, rotation, and reflection. So all you have to do is follow the dot. As you can see in translation, the image looks exactly the same. The dot is on the same exact part. Reflection, the dots are facing each other when you're looking at them. It's like reflecting. And rotation is when the dots are completely in a different shape, in a different way, and it's because the shape rotated. So now we're gonna to try to identify translation, rotation, and reflection. So for translation, if we look at the original image, the dot is on the left corner. So what that means is that this image looks exactly the same as the original. And if we go back up here to our key, it looks like translation because the dot stays in the same spot. So we're gonna put translation. Now, if we look at the second dot, it doesn't at all look like it's at the same spot. Instead, it looks like the dot kind of moved to this spot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it rotation because if it moved, it rotated to a different side. So it's gonna be called rotation. The next dot that we're looking at is to the right side. That looks like exactly the opposite. 
And what that means is that it's going to be reflection because it's reflecting off of itself. So we're going to call this reflection. And that's the end of the lecture. Thank you for listening.